Simple one, guys. Best bet for the World Cup. You only get to choose one. Me? Um, ooh. I'll go with the group treble that I put in the, uh, in the group best bets. Belgium, Brazil, and Netherlands all to win the group. Uh, it's five to two elsewhere. You're getting seven to two on that. I, I just, I think Belgium, they're in a, I think they're in a kind group. I don't think Morocco are going to cause too many problems. I think Croatia, again, will not cause too many problems. I don't really rate Canada that highly at all. So I think Belgium will be able to come through that group. You're getting a nice price on them at eight to 11. Uh, Brazil, we think they're going to go deep. Um, you know, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon, that should be no problem for them. And then the Netherlands, we've already discussed um, on the other, uh, the, the other videos that they, Got a very kind group as well, drawn with host Qatar, Senegal, who probably will be without Sadio Mane and Ecuador. So um, I'm going to go with that at 7-2. I'll dip into this, one of the specials markets. Uh, Brazil are 5-2 to and make the final, but Alisson's, uh, I think he's around 5-1 to one, uh, win the Golden Glove. I think he's the best keeper in the world at the minute. Um, the first four winners this century have made it to the final, so it kind of mixed in with that. Brazil do uh, get into the final or doing well. It was Khan, Buffon, Casillas, Neuer, uh, Courtois finished third and still won it. They're all top names in the goalkeeping class. So, uh, yeah, Brazil being firm, firm favourites. Like I say, they're known, they're known for the flair, but the, possibly the best defensive team in the competition. So, keeps a lot of clean sheets. It's just going to rack up his chances for that as well. Yeah, I'm heading over to Group G. I'm just going to take Serbia to qualify from this group at about six to five. I think you're getting odds against across the board. Switzerland are the preferred nation here. I just think that's priced up wrong. The Serbia team who topped their World Cup qualifying group ahead of Portugal, they were promoted in the Nations League as well. It's a really nice balance. This is a team on the up. I mean, the strike partnership alone of Mitrovic, Flavic as well. That's two strikers who are better than most big nations in the tournament. So they've got goals to bail them out if they need it. I don't know if they'll get to that point. A really talented midfield group as well. It's just a squad with nice balance to it. And for me, I'm taking Serbia to get out of this Group G. And yeah, I think it's about 6-5 odds against to, to finish runners-up to probably Brazil. Now I'm feeling really generous because you did say that all really quickly. <laughs> Final chance, if there's any other bet you really, really feel like it's just so good, you want to share it with the world. If you want to get it out, then speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, I think Denmark are too big to win the group with France. Um, you're getting three to one. Denmark uh, did, I think, well, they top, finished above France in the Nations League. I think they beat them in France as well. So they've got a decent recent head-to-head -head record um, with, with France. And they're a team that, are on the up as well. They've got a lot of continuity there. They've progressed through to the Euro semi-final against all odds, really, after what happened early on in the group stage. Um, and I, I think that they've got real quality to potentially cause France some problems in that group. And I do think that Group D is going to be down between those two teams. And I think a three to one, I think it's just a bit too big of a price for Denmark to win it. Just on the same sort of uh, way as my first bet, Argentina three to one to make the final and. Lionel Messi is 12 to 1 for the Golden Ball. Uh, it's a shortlist picked by uh, uh, candidates have picked by a shortlist, and oh god, it's picked by <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, it's picked this by is what we get into. It's picked yeah. by people, it's right? It's picked by people, Not and then media, media representatives picked it. Yeah. So it's a narrative-driven award. This is the content everyone came for. <laughs> this is it, and then the conspiracy. So, is with it being his last tournament, if it's narrative-driven. It's all going to lead, lean towards Lionel Messi. If he get, makes it the final, I think he wins a golden ball. So, yeah, 12 to 1 compared to the 3 to 1 for Argentina to make the final. Yeah, it's easy for me. You all looked at me. Uh, can I just carry on my Serbia narrative? Uh, if you go forward, a quarter final uh, exit is 13 to 2, which I was um and ah about mentioning that alongside the group. I think they beat Portugal, who they topped in World Cup qualifying if they meet in the round of 16. I think that's a big price. And it's a good underdog just to cheer on throughout the tournament, give yourself some interest. Sporting Life has harnessed the power of XG to provide expert, detailed analysis on all 32 teams for the 2022 World Cup to produce the ultimate betting guide. Key stats, percentage chance and predictions, most likely stage of elimination, and expert betting selections. Sporting Life's Ultimate World Cup Guide has you covered for Qatar.